All right, how's everybody doing? This is the Big Fact Show. This is Mark Ward. I'm in here with St. Labs, and we got a special guest, Just Rich Gates of uh, the original Brick Squad, and now the Slime Set movement is tearing up the Mid Atlantic. How you do? How y'all doing today? Good. Good. Oh, good. You know the good, the, good. the the non negative news in hip hop. The big news is that uh, Gucci Man and, and Jeezy gonna have that that versus battle. And, and, and Gates, I saw you, you said something about, you remember at the time people was getting attacked for wearing the snowman shirts. Yeah, man, big facts, man. Yeah, that was just like back in the days, it was real competitive, man. You know, it was still a good sport, you know, a whole lot of fights in the club. It ain't, it ain't like how it was back then. You know, you see your rival team or rival game, y'all niggas gonna blitz, man. And I, I definitely seen a lot of homies blitzy niggas. It was it was real war in the streets, man. But it was it was all good and fun though. You get kicked out of the club, you go to another club, fuck it, fighting that bitch too, man. <laughs> you 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 uh you, you the first time you met Waka and them, and uh y- y- y'all got y'all got into like some skirmishes in the club that night, right? Yeah, man. It, the first video shoot went good. It was on the same shit video shoot. Long live the great Slim Duncan, man. And then um, we went to the second club, and that's when all hell broke loose. Niggas in there was fighting. Dunk was on front line fighting big-ass security guards, you know. And then before anybody could jump in, that nigga already was blitzing niggas on his own. He was like, damn, this nigga really was a one-man army. (laughs) R.I.P. Slim Duncan. Where where do you think his career would have got to? Mm, It definitely would have been at the top. I could just see him, like, at the top, like on a, a meat mill type of uh, status, because his uh his lyrics and flows are just getting better. Like he was adapting like like every other day, really. Like if you listen to his first shit, you can hear the the um, transition. You can hear the uh you know the growth. You know you you biased, so I can't even ask you last who you think will win the versus battle between uh Gucci and Young Jeezy. I mean, like you know, I'm just getting wind of that going down. Like today, but it's like, are them dudes gonna be in the same spot together? Like, are they doing this shit over the internet, or are they gonna be together in the same room type shit? I, I doubt they'd be in the same room. That'd be something. <laughs> they might yeah, be in the was... same. They might be in the same building, but they probably won't be like in front of each other though. If if it if it come out like that, but if, if they do go face to face, then you know. Like salute, respect. That's grown man shit. In the end of the oh, day. If they do, they, 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 I they mean, mature, it's, they mature. I'm talking about like quarantining and shit. Yeah, but I'm saying like it's even even the fact that they doing a versus battle is just it's just epic. You feel what I'm saying? After all, all the right. shit that went down, with, feel what I'm saying? Like that's super grown man shit, and you know that would that would really set an example. For a lot of motherfuckers, like if them two dudes could come together and do some shit, like that's crazy, bro. Facts. I mean, we keep it on a music level, that's cool, but you know, a lot of shit definitely uh transpired like behind the scenes and in the in the in the streets off record. And you know, I can vouch, you know, I'm not gonna like get into too much detail, but you know, basically any brick squad artist you heard from a slum duck to a flocker. They living out all their lyrics. That's what the fans in the streets really don't know. But you know, the niggas that was in it, they know. I mean, you 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 can you can definitely go online and see fights. You know, like like Slim Duncan was not fake. That 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 really don't do it no justice. It was fights like every night, every day, maybe two or three fights a night. So, Rich, what goes through your mind then, being around all these uh, rapper fights when you see like the King Von shit? Mm, it's just it's bad man because it's just it kind of it took me back to like a slim dunking type of thing you know and I'm like now in the world kind of like feel my pain or feel my homie's point of view how we was feeling because you know like at the time not the whole world felt that pain you know that's a different type of pain it's something you gotta live with the rest of your life man and then you got like a star you got somebody that's gonna change everybody's lives and he get taken away from y'all and y'all put in so much work, put your life on the line for them. It, you just feel like someone took everything you worked hard for, you know, and took took away somebody special from you, you know? 
Laz was telling me about how he, he felt that uh the the promotion gets better in some cases when 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 artists pass away and and it's it's kind of ghoulish how they're profiting off, off these people's death. Do you, do you have any thoughts on that? Like, do you feel like Slim Duncan's musical legacy was handled properly? Um, I don't want to like speak on it too deeply because it can get kind of touchy. Because I know I, right I now, for the, so I for the, <laughs> yeah, now, nah, but I want to tell the fans listening there's definitely um, unreleased music and videos of Slim Duncan, and I, I've seen it, I've heard it. I don't know why it ain't come out. You know, I know Flock got he got everything, so it's on that man. You know, but it's it's definitely a lot of more material for the fans. 